Hello everyone, it's Shirley here. I am taking a look at the Keytron K2 keyboard with a Gatoron brown versus red switches. This is an affordable keyboard with wireless and wired options, and it is very versatile in that it allows you to easily switch between three devices via Bluetooth. Simply press the function plus one, two, three button. It's iOS and Windows compatible, making it easy to switch between work and personal computers. It also has one of the bigger batteries in the wireless mechanical keyboard at 4,000 milliamps versus the 3,000 or 2,000 found in other keyboards. Additionally, just from a personal preference perspective, it looks very sleek. When I was researching to buy this keyboard, I was very uncertain about which type of switch to get. I was debating between the red and brown switches simply because I haven't tried either, and having a Cherry MX Blue at home, I didn't like having to press so hard when typing. To distinguish the two, the Gatoron Red is the one with the orange button on the top right corner, and the Gatoron Brown is the one with the orange button on the top left corner and plugged in. As a reminder, the red is the linear switch, so when you press on the keys, it goes straight down without any feedback. It also seems to require less effort or strength when typing. The brown has a bit of a more tactile feedback, almost a small bump when you're pressing down, and less of a mushy feeling. It does require you to press down a little bit more when typing though. Now let's compare the typing sounds between the two. They're very similar, but if you listen carefully, there is some distinction. Something I noticed on the reds is that the spacebar squeaks when I press it on the left side. I took off the spacebar and reattached it, and it seems to be better, but ever so occasionally you can notice it.
Also, I'm not sure what the problem is, but the backlight seems to be not working on the reds when I'm typing, and pressing the light bulb button doesn't seem to trigger anything either. I've also tried to plug it into the power source and still have no reaction. To give you some context, this is how it should look like on the browns. Lastly, from typing for a bit on both, I find that I make more mistakes on the reds and the browns only because the keys are more sensitive and I'm more prone to pressing twice in the case that I didn't think it registered the first press. But if you're someone who types lightly and wants something more quiet, I think the red switches are an excellent choice. If you like having a little bit more feedback when you type and don't necessarily like the clacking of the blues, then the browns are a superb option. I think you really can't go wrong with a Keytron, but do note that the keyboard is quite high, so if you're used to resting your wrist when you type, I'd suggest a wrist pad for ergonomic reasons. I definitely enjoy and appreciate the solid feel and love the big batteries on this beast. While I hope you enjoyed the comparison, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below.